Hey guys, today we will talk about a card that has gone up recently in price and had you built the deck, my understanding of it is if you build the deck and then the deck becomes very good, you should buy the deck before it becomes very good. And that would be the time that you can, you could have bought the entire deck. It does, the deck does not run Cheerios, does not run any form of fetch lands. And it does run a playset of Mox Opals as the most expensive card. But before the recent spikes, it was relatively cheap. And one of the cheaper cards was Pure Steel Paladin. Pure Steel Paladin is a very good card for equipment. As long as you drop equipment, it will let you draw cards and let you equip it for free. Uh, you want to drop as many equipments as possible, keeping your storm count extremely high and then maybe play a grape shot to win the game or track i made a previous video about that's one blue and you can return all the artifacts you own to your hand and to replay them again to draw more cards to imagine if you had four equipments that cost zero you drop them you draw four then you retract you bring the four up to your hand then you play the four that you had you draw four more and assuming that out of the eight new cards, that four of them are artifacts as well, equipment, then you play those and then you drop, draw four and maybe you draw another retract. So you get what's going on here, right? You play zero cost equipment. You are going to draw cards off the equipment. And then what's going to happen is you're going to retract them, returning them to your hand for one blue. So the Mox Opal is very important for that step to play the zero equipment again. So Pair Steel Paladin is a very important part of that combo. It typically is not used as a finisher. Typically you're looking for a grape shot. Uh, you're going to play 20 equipments. It's a fun deck. I'm trying to build it. I honestly do not have Mox Opals. That is the one card I don't have. Luckily, again, if you have bulk, bulk being a dollar or something like that, always keep your bulk and because you never know what's going to happen so yes this card was around five dollars but previous to that for a very long time from since it was released all the way to looks like cons of tarkir looks like it spiked during fate reforged i'm not sure what was in fate reforged that spiked it maybe some equipment but this deck has existed in for some time and just needed some more zero drop equipment very fun deck very you just overall to win this way feels good there's some ways that you win like lantern control i know some people like that deck i personally hate it i hate playing it i hate playing against it i don't have the deck built but i would imagine it's not the type of deck i would want which i just because i played top uh, the top decks in legacy and they're just so boring and the same thing with ed8s Sensei's Divining Top, it just slows the game down and there's no interaction. Here, there's a lot of things popping back to your hand. You're playing them a lot. So it feels like you're playing Goldfist against yourself, but it looks cool. It looks a lot, lot cooler than Lantern Control. So anyway, if you have some of these copies, they're no longer $5. They're no longer $1. They are now quite expensive and... Uh, definitely worth uh, picking out of your bulk if you, if you, especially if you purchase new Phyrexia. I think this was actually bulk at that time. So leave me a comment below if you are able to get a good deal or if you have a playset or, God forbid, you need a playset of this card. <laughs> anyway, bye guys.